Applications of Differential Calculus Optimization – Finding the Maximum or Minimum Values When optimizing, we apply our knowledge of finding a local maximum or minimum of a cubic graph to finding the maximum or minimum volume, area, cost, profit, etc. For example, find the lengths of the sides of a rectangle in order for the area to be a maximum. The method to find the maximum or minimum is similar to the cubic graph section, where if we wanted to find the local maximum or minimum, we found the derivative of the function and set it equal to zero. Often results are obvious, so we do not use the second derivative. For example, if one of the side lengths of the rectangle is zero, it would not give a maximum area. Example 1. Finding the maximum profit. A factory has X employees and makes a profit of P rand per week. The relationship between the profit and number of employees is expressed in the formula P of X equal to negative 2 times X cubed plus 600X plus 1000, where X is the number of employees. Calculate the number of employees needed for the factory to make a maximum profit, and hence the maximum profit. Solution We need to find the derivative of P of x. P prime x equals negative 6 times x squared plus 600. To maximize profit, we set P prime x equal to 0 and solve for x. If we relate this back to functions, this is equivalent to finding the maximum value of the function, since the number of employees cannot be negative. Therefore, x equals 10. This means that 10 employees will ensure a maximum profit. Now, all we have to do is substitute x equals 10 back into the formula for p brackets x to find the maximum profit. Maximum profit is 5,000 Rand, when there are 10 employees. Example 2. Finding dimensions. A cat climbs into a rectangular box without a lid. The box is made of cardboard of insignificant thickness. The sides of the base are 2x centimetres by 3x centimetres and the height is h centimetres. 1. If the total external surface area is 200 square centimetres, show that h equals 20 over x minus 3x over 5. 2. Find the dimensions of the box that will maximise the volume. Solution 1. Total surface area equals the area of the base plus the product of the perimeter of the base and the height. 200 is equal to 2x times 3x plus 2 times in brackets 2x plus 3x multiplied by the height of the box. This simplifies to 200 equal to 6 times x squared plus 10xh. Subtract 6 times x squared from both sides to leave the term involving h on its own. To make h the subject of the formula, divide both sides of the equation by 10x. If we divide each term in the numerator by 10x, we arrive at the required formula. 2. The volume of a box is the product of the length, breadth and height. V equals 2x times 3x times h equal to 6 times x squared times h. There are three variables in this equation, but we found h in terms of x in part 1. So substitute for h. Now v equals 120x minus 18 times x cubed over 5. Differentiate the equation. v prime equal to 120x minus 3 times 18 over 5 times x to the power of 3 minus 1, which is 54x squared over 5. Set the derivative equal to 0. 
solve for x squared. Square root both sides of the equation to find values for x. Since dimensions can only be positive real numbers, x equals 10 over 3. To find the dimensions, substitute into the formula to find h. h equals 20 divided by 10 thirds minus 3 times 10 thirds all over 5. The height of the box is 4 centimeters. By substituting 10 over 3 for x, we find the sides to be 20 over 3 centimeters and 10 centimeters. So for the box to have a maximum volume, the dimensions must be 10 centimeters by 20 over 3 centimeters by 4 centimeters. We can use the second derivative to check that the volume is a maximum at x equals 10 thirds. The second derivative equals negative 54 fifths multiplied by 2x, which equals negative 108 fifths multiplied by x. When x equals 10 thirds, the second derivative equals negative 72. Since negative 72 is less than 0, the volume is a maximum at x equals 10 thirds.